Welcome to this Windows 8.1 lesson and this is lesson 16 how to configure an email address in Windows 8 mail. Now in uh, lesson 15 you've list, yeah, actually learned how to access your email in different ways and one of the ways is the modern UI or Metro style mail program in Windows 8.1. If you want to use this program, there are, first of all, advantages to using uh, this mail program. Um, if you are on the web and you need, for example, to share a link in a page or maybe a video or a picture, you'll have to, um, if it's a link, you'll have to do a copy-paste, for example, if you're in Gmail through your web browser or Hotmail, MSN. If you are, uh, if you want to put a picture in attachment or a document, then you have to go through your mail browser and uh, when you're doing your messages, you have to click, you know, um, insert a, uh, a file and then you have to go through your computer and find that file. So it's not that it's that difficult, but it has a level of difficulty that can be removed if you actually use mail because mail has integration with pretty much everything in Windows 8.1. So when you go in your charms bar, for example, in Internet Explorer, and you have a mail account, you can actually share. So for example, if I'm on Internet Explorer, because I have an account here, and I go to a article, maybe I'm uh, actually going to a uh, New York Times article that I've seen, and I'm, think I'm thinking, oh, okay, I want to share for example, this article with my friends through email. Now you'd have to copy and paste if you would use Gmail through a web browser or Outlook.com website, for example. Here, because you have a mail account, you can actually go into the share in the charms bar and it's going to ask you, do you want to share it with mail, for example, and it's going to, you know, integrate an email message with that link in that article. That's why mail is a interesting um, program to use actually um, in your uh, computer or an app. So to add an account, first of all, if you've logged in and made a Microsoft account when you started Windows 1, uh, 8.1, you already have one account. You have your basic account that's already in your mail browser. It's added automatically as you uh, program or start your Windows 8 machine for the first time but maybe you have other addresses that you want to add. For example, I would like to add a Gmail address. So what do you do? You click on the upper or right or lower right side of your screen to get a charms bar. You can swipe if you have a touch device while your mail program is open, your mail app. So click on it and if you don't see the mail app, you can go down, either uh, search for it with that little arrow at the bottom and check through all of your um, apps. Mail is always on every computer that has Windows 8. Or you can go into the charms bar on the right side and search for it with the little search. So you'll have the mail. And once you've seen it and you click on it, then just go into the charms bar. And there you will have settings. And settings, you have accounts this was where you add an account. You have your default account and you can see the email address of my default account here. But you can click add an account. It will ask you do you want to add an Outlook.com account, an Exchange account, a Google, a Yahoo or other accounts. Now keep in mind that if your internet service provider email or the email that you need to use is a pop email, then it's impossible to use in Windows 8 Mail. Windows 8 Mail actually removed the possibility to connect to a POP account. If you can't, why not check if your internet service provider or email provider can be used with IMAP, then it will work with an IMAP. And you'll use other accounts and then you'll use either an exchange or an IMAP type account so that you can use it. So to add, for example, a Gmail account, I'll go in my charms bar, click settings, 
accounts add an account and I'll click Google here it's gonna ask me what do you want to use now you see that it already has information about email addresses that I'm using through Internet Explorer and it's asking me is that one of the addresses that I want um, I'll say yeah for this type of address and I'll just click connection or else you'll enter your email address you'll enter the password of that email that Gmail and all you'll have to do then is just click you accept the terms and your account will be ready in a few seconds once that is done it will ask you do you want to see friends here or do you want to just connect with your uh, other accounts um, personally I never connect with other accounts so you just cancel that part here and there you'll have Gmail and when you look at the left side now your Gmail is here so I've got some messages from my Gmail that just popped in and I can of course um, delete these mail and um, of course you have at the bottom left access to all your services so for example here I want to uh, go to my hotmail to see if I have hotmail you just go there and you have hotmail you go click Gmail you have Gmail now suppose what I want to add is an Outlook account of course you'll do the same thing you'll go to the charms bar on the right side of your screen and get settings and add your accounts so whatever account you want to use this is how it's done just add the account choose the correct account and um, if it's not listed just click other account and enter the information you, that it's asking you and that you have so it's as easy as that to configure mail and once you've done it it's quite easy to go through and actually in lesson 17 we'll show you how to send an email how to delete emails and how to uh, manage and make folders in another lesson also so uh, that's how you configure mail it's as easy as that just click on it go into your charms bar and never forget your charms bar when an app is open always has all the options of your different accounts so you click your account I want to add for example here a um, give you another example account I'll add an account I want to add a Outlook account and tap the address of my Outlook account I want to use here we go not mail address then you'll tap of course in that password that you want to use connect and uh, oh, actually I've changed I think I've changed this email I change my password so often that I just don't remember most of the time so uh, you just enter the information that you might have about that email and connect to it and uh, eventually you should have access here I think I have the wrong password sorry for that yeah so I'll just cancel this one but you get the gist of it you know you just add the information your uh, email address or username and password and it's automatically added and you'll see that on the left side of the screen of your uh, computer so uh, don't hesitate to add you can add as many email addresses as you want uh, Gmail Hotmail Outlook MSN Live uh, Yahoo and a lot of others and um, if you have business or local ISP email if it accepts EMAP or IMAP uh, then just configure it as an IMAP and enter the details the information they're asking for if you're not sure you can also call your internet service provider and see if they can help you out with the um, config of your mail um, app in Windows 8 if you enjoy our lessons please subscribe to our channel and you will be informed when new videos are online it's a great way to learn how to use Windows 8 if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen suggestions let us know and hopefully you'll come back to the Windows 8 
lessons channel. And the great, great thing about these lessons is that you can watch them over and over and over again and learn more on how to use Windows 8. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.